This is cool. A big donation at the Deseret Industries in Provo, just in time for the wedding mm -hmm. season. A thousand new wedding dresses are now on sale. New specialist Ashley Moser explains why they're all expected to go fast. Well, this is soon to be the worst kept secret here in Provo. All of those dresses were donated back in May. They were put on the floor today, and boy, has the staff been busy. Dozens of brides in and out of the store picking up the most important dress of their lives. I like the lacy look, like everybody has a lacy look. Look at the jacket on that. Saying yes to the dress Treasure trove. hasn't been easy for bride-to-be Mary Alfin. That is really pretty, but it's really big. <laughs> she says prices have kept her from trying some on. When I looked, they were like between 600 to like 2,000 up. But today... I'm gonna pull this out and look at it. That's out the window. That's really gorgeous, so size two. I might be pushing it a little. She's browsing through a room full of 1,000 gowns. Oh, that's pretty. The dresses, part of one of the biggest donations Deseret Industries in Provo has seen. It is very unusual to see that many dresses, though, um, from, from, from an individual that, that have come in, so certainly unique. We could take it in. Store manager Wade Olson says he was pleasantly surprised when he got a call from an anonymous donor who dropped off the dresses size 2 to 18. They look like they're, for the most part, more of a summer type. There's so many of them. I don't see too many long sleeve, so it's the right time and the right season for the bride that's in the market for a, for a dress and at a great value. He says they range in price from $80 to $130. Makes me feel like Cinderella trying to get on. A price point Mary says she's willing to spend. It's amazing. You actually, maybe somebody has a chance to actually have their own wedding dress. Like, they'll have a chance to feel just so beautiful on their day. Yeah, the store manager also tells me these donations mean a lot to the employees. It helps fund job training for them. And he also tells me about 30 dresses were sold today. They open the store back up tomorrow morning at 10. In Provo, Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Can't imagine those are going to last long, Ashley. Thanks.